Look, there's my plumbago. I've got several of them. Plumbago is from South Africa. That one's copyright. It's called Cape something or other. It's uh, copyright. Isn't that appalling that the genes have been copyrighted? I remember when I used to garden for a lady in Wallara in Sydney, Mrs. Betty Greatorex. She had one of those growing right down the side of her house and she said that's a plumbago. I didn't know what it was called back then. But they're very tough. And imagine that's, anyway, that's, that plant is uh, patented, which is appalling because it looks like any other plumbago to me. It does. It's just a plumbago. They're very tough, very drought resistant. Beautiful plants though. From a distance it looks a bit like a jacaranda, I mean the colour and the petals falling on the ground, but it's only a little shrub. It's also, um, it's described as para-insectivorous or proto-insectivorous. It catches insects but it hasn't quite figured out how to, how to digest them just yet. I wonder if it's going to develop a stomach eventually. I think to be truly insectivorous you have to have some means of digestion. Anyway, let's have a closer look at the plumbago from South Africa. Look at the pretty colours, aren't they lovely? So beautiful. I've noticed the petals on the ground remind me of jacaranda. So blue, look. Blue. Of course, jacarandas are from South America somewhere, aren't they? Is that slight wind blowing ruining the audio on this film? Now the thing is, if it's going to become insectivorous, if it, that's a fact, you can't see them now, but there's little hairs there. If it's going to become insectivorous, doesn't that sort of mean that the plant has an intention of its own, an intelligence of its own? It looks like it intends to become insectivorous. Can you see the tiny little hairs there? They catch insects. That wind's blowing again. See those little hairs? They're just barely. They can catch insects of some sort. And it looks like it's, in, it's got the intention. That's if uh, that theory of evolution is true. I mean, it sort of implies to me a sort of intelligence in the plant itself. Look at those beautiful colours. Anyway, it's not insectivorous at the moment because it doesn't do its own digestion. Or something like that, so I read. So blue, so wonderful, so pretty. On this very late summer afternoon, a pla patented plant, a patented plant, all the genes are patented. It's appalling really. I think it's appalling. It might satisfy big business, but it doesn't satisfy me. It doesn't.